of your queen, a little daughter. For the sake of it, be manly and take comfort. Oh, you gods! Why do you make us love your goodly gifts and snatch them straight away? We here below recall not what we give, and therein may use honor with you. Patience, good sir, even for this charge. Now mild may be thy life. For a more blusterous birth had never been. Quiet and gentle thy conditions. For thou art the rudeliest welcome to this world that ever was princely child. Happy what follows. Thou hast as chiding a nativity as fire, air, water, earth, and heaven can make to herald thee from the womb. Even at the first. Thy loss is more than can thy portage quit with all thou canst find here. Now the good gods throw their best eyes upon it. Love's no more than chance. No, I love Cleopatra. Do I appear Caesar? I adore Beatrice. Have I the look of Dante? But your wit, your courage. Well, that poor child who offered you just now, your dinner, she, you saw with your own eyes. Her eyes did not avoid you. That is true. Well then, Roxanne herself, watching your duel, paler than Pale. her lips parted, her hand thus at her breast. I saw it. Speak to her, speak, man. Through my nose. But she might laugh at me. That is the one thing in this world I fear. <clears throat> this diamond he greets your wife withal, by the name of most kind hostess, and shut up in measureless content. Being unprepared, our will became a servant to defect, which else should free have wrought. All's well. I dreamt last night of the three weird sisters. To you they have showed some truth. I think not of them. Yet, when we can entreat an hour to serve, we would spend it in some words upon that business, if you would grant the time. At your kindest leisure. If you shall cleave to my consent when tis, it shall make honor for you. So I lose none in seeking to augment it, but still keep my bosom franchised and allegiance clear. I shall be counseled. Good repose, the wire. Thanks, sir. Uh, so like to you. Mm. I'm a very special big, fat, ugly pig. You see, I used to be a god in heaven, but... But... But what? <laughs> but I fell in love with the goddess. <laughs> you know how it is. One look at a pretty girl and I go crazy, fall in love, can't think of anything else. But gods are not supposed to love or have feelings for anyone, particularly not girls. But I couldn't help it. I just love pretty girls. <laughs> so I was banished from the heavens to the earth. And turned into a pig. Well, I have put on a few pounds. Why eat when I'm depressed? So sue me. Yon king's to me like to my father's picture, which tells me in that glory once he was, had princes sit like stars about his throne, and he the sun for them to reverence. None that beheld him but like lesser lights did veil their crowns to his supremacy. For now his son's a glowworm in the night, the which hath fire in darkness, none in light whereby I see that time's the king of men. He's both their parent, and he is their grave, and gives them what he will, not what they crave. <laughs> <laughs> In this same interlude it doth befall that I once not by name present a wall, and such a wall as I would have you think, that had in it a crannied hole or chink, through which the lovers, Pyramus and Thisbe, did whisper off and very secretly. This line, this rough cast, and this stone doth show that I am that same wall. The truth is so. And this the cranny is. Bright and sinister, through which the fearful lovers are to whisper. 
Would you desire a lime and hair to speak better? It is the wittiest partition that air I heard discourse about. <laughs> <laughs> the pyramid straws near the wall. Silence. Jeez Louise! You are so beautiful! Thank you, my prince, for saving me. <laughs> prince? Did you say my prince? She thinks I'm a prince. I'm telling you, she's the one. The one I've been waiting for all my life. I'm a prince. I'm a prince. I'm a prince. And she's my princess. I will believe thee and make my senses credit thy relation to points that seem impossible, for thou looks like one I loved indeed. What were thy friends? Didst thou not say when I did push thee back, which was when I perceived thee, that thou camest from good descending? So indeed I did. Report thy parentage. I think thou saidst thou hadst been tossed from wrong to injury, and that thou thoughtst thy griefs might equal mine if both were opened. Some such thing I said, and said no more but what my thoughts did warrant me was likely. Tell thy story. If thine considered prove the thousandth part of my endurance, thou art a man, and I have suffered like a girl. <laughs> Yet thou dost look like patience, gazing on king's graves, and smiling extremity out of act. What were thy friends? How lost thou them? Thy name, my most kind virgin, recount, I do beseech thee. Come, sit by me. My name is Marina. <laughs> oh. I am mocked. And now by some insensate God sent hither to make the world to laugh at me. Patient. Ride you this afternoon. Aye, my good lord. Oh, we should have else desired your good advice in this day's council. But we'll take tomorrow. Is it far, you ride? As far, my lord, as will fill up the time twixt this and supper. Go not my horse the better, I must become a borrower of the night for a dark hour or twain. Fail not our feast! My lord, I will not. We hear our bloody cousins are bestowed in England and in Ireland, not confessing their cruel parricide. But of that tomorrow, when therewithal we shall have cause of state craving us jointly. Hie you to horse! Adieu till you return at night. Goes Fleance with you? Aye, my good lord, our time does call upon us. I wish your horses swift and sure of foot, and so I do commend you to their backs. Farewell. I told you everything. Oh, monkey brother, I found you. I don't know you. I don't know what you're talking about. Brother, you don't remember me? You've only been gone a few hours. Oh, right after you left, Master took Sandy and me to a temple for the night. Suddenly two demons showed up and captured Master and Sandy with a net. You've got to go and save them. It will be rain tonight. Let it come down! Oh, treachery! Why are you playing this fly? Fly! Thou mayst remain! I am Pericles of Tyre. But tell me now my drowned queen's name, as in the rest you said thou hast been godlike perfect, the heir of kingdoms and another like to Pericles thy father. Is it no more to be your daughter than to say my mother's name was Thaisa? <laughs> Thaisa was my mother who did end the minute I began. No blessing on thee. Rise. Thou art my child. Oh. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Go. <laughs> 